Well, farmers are suing the federal government after years of devastating floods along the Missouri River. Janet Halligan explains why they believe the Army Corps of Engineers is to blame. This area along the river is an example of how the Corps reduced flooding along the Missouri River more than 70 years ago. They built up the land for economic development and agriculture, but this lawsuit claims that the changes in the flood control is reversing all that. Hundreds of farmers live along the fertile Missouri River. This is where Aaron Luce owns 40 acres of land for corn and soybeans. He's a fifth generation farmer. It's just me and my wife and two little girls at farm. And uh, but like I said, I grew up on a farm and I've always farmed and never done anything else. But flooding like this in 2011 ruined his livelihood. How many feet of sand on your farm, you know? And, and uh, that's very devastating. You know, never be the same, even with the expense of getting it off there. He's one of nearly 200 people who filed a lawsuit against the agency that controls the river, the Army Corps of Engineers. The suit argues the Corps has changed their priorities, putting flood control at a lower priority and focusing more on wildlife conservation. What they're doing now, they're moving the levees further and further and further back. We're going to lose a lot of farmland, we're going to lose a tax base, and the economy of this region is really going to hurt. Since the core changes, farmers say the floods ran rampant. It's just happening so much more often, you know, rather than a once in 20 years. I mean, we're into something, and you heard that, flooded five times out of seven. The National Weather Service estimated the Missouri River flooding in 2011 caused over $2 billion in damages. Farmers from Missouri, Kansas, and three other states are behind the lawsuit. I reached out to the Army Corps of Engineers, and they said they cannot comment on pending litigation. Live in Kansas City, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.